Wanna say hi? Hi. Hi everyone. Natasha and I are here to ooh, we got the string in there. Uh to show you how to do this Minnesota Animals project. So there should be a Ziploc bag with all the materials and the supplies I dropped off. So Natasha, what did we do? What did we do this for in your classroom? What's the name of the program that I come in and volunteer every year? Art Adventure. Yeah, so I came into Natasha's first grade class and did Art Adventure right before the schools shut down for the COVID-19. So I'm glad we were able to do this. So it was it was fun and they're beautiful. And she's been working on all doing all the animals. Theo, can you turn the, the phone around to show them? Mm -hmm. Her gallery of of the the different ones. She did a loon one at school with her class. Everyone in her classroom got a different animal. Well, there were eight animals total and twenty-four kids. There's a moose. Move it down, honey. Right. And then a wolf she's done here at home. And the eagle she's done here at home since being and a home. Loon. But you did that one in Art Adventure. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, today she's going to do her porcupine one. So in your Ziploc bag, in your child's Ziploc bag, there's another little Ziploc bag with these beads. So the first thing I would recommend is to take it out and have your child bead. It should be pretty easy, even for a three-year-old. Because they're they're big beads, so it's not hard to get them on the string. And I put a knot on the end, so they should stay on there. But so the reason we were doing this was because we looked at a piece of art through Art Adventure that was a usable piece of art. It was a screen, a Japanese screen that had cranes on it, and cranes are a very important symbol in Japanese culture. So I thought it would be kind of cool because I think it's so cool to do Minnesota animal stuff with kids because we have so many awesome animals, right? We have moose and wolves and black bears and loons and eagles and what were the other ones we did? We did porcupine and, and beaver. Beaver. And uh, black bear. Black bear. So um, anyway, we have and so many. Loon. And loon, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We have so many cool animals. So. I thought, and they are, a lot of them were really important to Native Americans, and so we wanted to make something that looked like a usable piece of art, too, like it was a pouch. So that's why we're using a brown piece of paper, and then in the end, you can hang it with a string, this natural-looking string, and just make some hole punches here. And the other thing that makes it look like a pouch is I have these cool scissors that you cut and it makes a fringe. Obviously not everybody has these cool fringe scissors and you don't have to do this, but it makes it look more like a pouch. You can have your child use their safety scissors and just do little snips along the bottom. But you gotta make sure they don't cut it in half. That would be sad. So anyway, and then the one last thing that we did to make it look like a pouch and make it look old, like it was a piece of leather, was to do what? Remember Natasha? Uh, to crinkle. Yeah, you wanna show them how you crinkled it? Just go gently kind of crinkle it up. So if your child does choose to do this, they don't have to. Just have them gently crinkle it. And then we're going to pull it back out again. There we go. Good. So it's not all ripped up. There. Nice. All right. But it might be easier for preschoolers to just have it flat and not be crinkled. So anyway, so Natasha did this. We just thought this would be a cool um, decorative element when I was getting together the arts, art adventure supplies that looks pretty Native American to have beading. And so we, I had the kids do this little bit, and then we could add it any way you want. Across, like that, however the kids want to. They can have it hanging off like that. But now the fun part is to put all the stuff together, right? So... I do realize that we have more than porcupines in Minnesota. Because when we did our Minnesota Animals Week here, the kids did toothpick porcupines. But they are so cool that we had to do some porcupines again for Art Adventure and, when the, and then with this. And especially because I found this cool faux fur at the fabric store that really looks like a porcupine. 
So the combination of this faux fur and the toothpicks, everybody has a de two decorative elements, actually three. You have some faux fur or some feathers if you're doing a loon or an eagle. And the, and the porcupine has the toothpicks. And then the third decorative element is I gave everybody, I found this at the fabric store too that had Minnesota animals on it. And I gave everyone a moose, a bear, black bear, a wolf, and a deer. And the kids can choose whether they want to add these or not. They can add it as a big clump already together. Or some of them, some of the kids have them individually cut out. They could add the deer and the bear and not the wolf, whatever. It's up to them. So um, they can obviously use a glue stick to glue on paper items. And I recommend that they do the animal first and do it in the middle and then add the decorative elements around it. So why don't you do this one first, honey? Why don't you put the porcupine on first? You want to just use the wet glue? Okay, that's fine. And then, so it's pretty self-explanatory, right? We're going to add the animal in the middle of a piece of paper. And then the decorative, whoop, that's enough. That's enough, honey. You don't need a lot with the paper. And then um, the decorative elements around it. And then they can add the fringe and they can add the, the string on the top. And then it's just a really cool, beautiful piece of art that's highlighting a cool animal of our state. Go ahead and put it on, honey. We don't want to make this video too long. No, okay, good. Video. And then something like this, when you have a bunch of toothpicks, I recommend that you have your child. I usually tell them not to puddle it, but it, this for this would be good to puddle a little bit of glue and then just sprinkle the glue on there. Um, I mean, sprinkle the toothpicks onto the, the puddle of glue. And then you can decide where the, the last thing you do before you put the string on and do the fringe and decide where they're gonna, the beads are going to go. You can either do this by doing a hole punch and tying it on. If you have a hot glue gun, that works well with this. Or you can just tape it on. But anyway, oh, no, see, I didn't I didn't tie it right away. No, we made it all go. Sorry, honey, you're going to have to redo those beads. But anyway, so this is this is how it looks. Maybe Theo, show him once again the finished product. Turn it around, honey. I know. Like focus on the wolf or something. Yes. Yeah, so those are what they look like, and they're beautiful. So I hope your kids enjoy doing it. And I will post more stuff next week. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye-bye.